In this video, we're going to take a look at how parents can use the Schoology platform to log in and check on the work that their children are doing inside of any of their Schoology courses. Now, you should have received a letter home from your school with information on how to create a Schoology account, as well as a join code that would be your way of connecting you to your child or children. Each child will have their own unique code. If you have more than one child, you'll see here in just a minute how to add each additional child to your account. So you're going to go ahead and navigate to the Schoology login page, which is app.schoology.com slash login, or you can go to a mobile device. You can download the Schoology app and you'll use your credentials to log in there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here and take a look. Okay, when you first log in, you're going to go ahead and be presented with the Schoology kind of dashboard here. And we're just going to take a look at a few things to try to keep this video relatively simple, get you started looking for probably the most commonly sought after information. So we're going to navigate over to our name in the upper right hand corner. We're going to drop that down and it should list at least one of your children underneath your name. Now, if you have more than one child at this point here, you can use this add child button to go ahead and use this join code for your other child or children and add them in under your name. OK, so to check on each of your individual children, you're just going to go ahead and change the view uh, so that it shows the view for whichever child you want to take a look at. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this demonstration account here. And it's going to change the view just a little bit of Schoology. The big thing to note is this light blue bar across the top where it'll say you are viewing as and then your child will be there. So now that we're in here, what we want to do is just know what we're looking at. This is the student activity, just kind of a stream of recent activity that's gone on inside of this uh, inside of your child's uh, Schoology experience, different classes, all that information kind of consolidated into one list. Over here, you'll be able to quickly navigate to things that have been recently graded um, in different categories like assignments, tests, quizzes, discussions. You'll get a real quick glimpse at what may be overdue and a quick glimpse at what is upcoming. Now, these two things here all relate to their calendar. And a quick way to get to the calendar is to go to this calendar button right here. It will open up the student's calendar here. And you can see a list of all the assignments that they have posted across the different days of the week within the month. You can change months by using this button here. You can change from month view to week view to day view, depending on how you prefer to see it. All you have to do is just simply click on the name of these different assignments. So I'll go ahead and put my mouse on this here. It says bell ringer. And if I click on it, it will take me to the Science 7 Section 2 class that that bell ringer activity is in. OK, so a quick way to navigate, um, check out what's coming up, what was done and quickly get to those different activities in their classes. Now, I want to show you how to actually go into your child's class that they're enrolled in. And we're going to go up here to courses. We're going to go up here to courses, drops down a list of the classes. We're going to go ahead and pick the class that we want to go into. And this looks a lot like what your child sees. Now, the only limits you have as parents is you will not be able to see this, the documents that your child has turned in or need to work on. Um, if you do need to see that sort of thing, that's a good time to sit down with your child, tell them to get their Chromebook out or other device and to open up whatever activity it is that you saw here that you would like a little bit more information into. This is a good place to go and see what they're working on, get some information, directions, descriptions, any resources or notes that the teacher may have provided. But when you really want to see what your child has turned in, just sit down with them and have them log into Schoology so you can see that. So over here on the left, you're going to use this to navigate materials. That's what this stuff is here. It's all this, the things that they're doing in the class. You can get up, see the updates the teacher has posted, like announcements about things that might be coming up, reminders. And then you can get to their grade book right here. To navigate through the materials, most courses are, are organized with some sort of a foldering method, um, but all of the materials are listed right here. Each teacher will have a different strategy for how they organize their materials, so it may take you just a little bit to get used to how the, the teachers have their stuff organized for your child. But you can see here, this folder 
when I click this little arrow next to the folder, keeps opening it up so that I can see what's inside of it uh, to get down into the materials. Again, this is how this teacher decided to organize this coursework. All of these things are actual items that um, my child has to do. And let's say I wanna open up this vocabulary goal setting activity. I can actually click on that activity and it will take me to see when it's due and then any directions and or resources that have been attached to this to help my child to complete this activity, okay? If it's already been graded, you will see a grade appear over here in the upper right-hand corner. Now, as far as grades go, we can see a, a quick summary of all the grades right here over in the grades section. So I'm gonna click over here and this will open up my grade report uh, for this particular class. So you'll see that this one's broken into four quarters. Um, you may only see two quarters in your view, it just depends on the course that your child is in. So if you wanna continue to expand anything that may be uh, collapsed, you can just click this little arrow to the left of the, the grading term and it will continue to open it up. Now this grading term is broken into three categories and I can see the grades next to each of these categories. Okay, I can see the grade currently for quarter one. And at the bottom, this is the course grade. Um, this will change, uh, this will become the average of these quarters as we progress through the year. It just so happens right now it matches quarter one, but when we get to quarter two, it will be the average between quarter one and two. So that will change, but the quarterly grades will be displayed right across from the quarter. If you want to see what's inside of this, uh, this any particular category, just click the, the arrow next to the category to expand it out. You'll see the assignment title, the due date, and the grade that your child received on it. The nice thing about Schoology is if you see this text in blue, it means you can click on it and that will take you to their activity. Just again, keep in mind that sometimes you'll click it and it may not give you access to it um, because it's a Google, um, document that only your child has access to or it's a another uh, tool that again your child may have to log into but it definitely gives you some information to say and sit down with your child and say hey let's go ahead and open up this particular activity because i want some more information about where that grade came from okay now if a teacher puts comments on any of the activities that have been done you will notice comments appearing in the far right hand column okay Now to change over into a different course, all you do is go right back up to courses here at the top. And I was in this one, I can switch over and I can go to this course right here and it will open up everything as it relates to there. And I can navigate through there, getting any information that I want from there. To change to a different child, if you have more than one child, you're gonna navigate back over to the right hand side and you will drop down the list and pick the next child. It will change the view and it will say you're viewing as whatever that child's name is. So that's just a real quick summary and overview of how you can go ahead and get around inside of Schoology to check on the work that your child is doing.